you got yourself a new computer and the boxes are still dotted all over the place. So the first thing that you should do is probably tidy up. But other than that, let's have a look at some of the other important things that you should do when you get a new computer. If you've purchased a new machine, unless you've built it with yourself, it probably comes with a load of junk installed, otherwise known as bloatware. Could be anything from antivirus programs to even games that you don't want installed. And believe it or not, this can actually slow your system down. There is a way on Windows 10 to reset the PC, but even that can sometimes use a partition on the hard drive that will just install all the same bloatware all over again. So for me, there's only one way to really do it. And let's go to this website, Microsoft website. I'll leave a link in the description. And you create Windows 10 installation media. It's very simple. It does it all for you. Once it's done, you'll have a USB stick that will have a fresh copy of Windows 10 on it. At that point, turn off your new machine. Put the USB stick in, turn the machine back on again, and instead of taking you directly into the Windows that was on the machine, you'll go into a Windows setup program. Again, it's very simple, it's a wizard. You just keep pressing next. It will ask for your name, an internet connection, and it will reinstall Windows. At that point, you'll have a completely fresh copy of Windows but you might have an issue that some things aren't working exactly how you'd expect them. At that point, go to the website of your particular machine. In this case, we're looking at the GS73. And if you scroll down here, show you a few things if you go to specifications service driver what you'll find there is all the the drivers that you need to put back onto the machine so you can quite simply work through this and just download and install them all one by one. Very simple indeed. And that will get you back to a completely fresh copy of Windows and you can start installing your software from scratch. Definitely a much better way of doing things. It's a lot nicer to know exactly where you are if you're having any trouble like the machine freezing again this is a good way of putting it back together again any questions leave me a comment it's been emotional